All right, hi everyone. Sandra from Scraps Beauty. And it's Sunday. And before we, um, I, uh, things I have to share. And on YouTube, you're not interested in any of the uh, sharing things. Just fast forward five or 10 you know, minutes before. But I am going to show uh, the new Art by Marlene uh, Bold and Bright collection. I'm also going to show Linda Rabin, Ravenscroft her new stamps. And as well as Jane's new tattoo ink. So you can see there, there. Jane's new. It's in the shape of a cute little skull. There we go. Let's see. Um, cute. Hi, Julie. <laughs> um, so before I do all that, what I want to do is prepare a page. So let's move on this. So that we can, so it can kind of dry before we get to it. Hi, John. Hi, Margaret. I'm just going to move this aside. Because, <clears throat> of course, I couldn't find my journal, my big journal. Um, so I'm just going to do it on a piece of um, a journal that I have already set. <laughs> Patty, Patty, all finished? I missed some of her stream. I'll have to go back. What was the paper she was using? All right, so we're just going to do this. And so I'm going to turn to this page here. Let me go do one in the middle. Let's do the middle. That's so why I can put my trust the mess sheets in between. I probably should have um, got the bigger ones. Oops. But for now, this will be good. There's that one. And this one. So we're going to just color these really quick so that we can have it. Um, oh, no, I wonder if I should put that at the bottom. Hmm, let me see. Does it matter? Yeah, I'm going to put that on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I wanted to tape this off, which I should have done, but I didn't get a chance to, so I'm going to do it now. <laughs> uh, hi, Patty. What was the paper you were using? Was it a new tissue paper? Because I came in late, so um, I have to go back and look at the... Uh, the replay. I want to do is tape this off today. I want to have the little border. I can't believe Dar. Anybody I missed? Joan. I hope I said hi to you, Joan. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna switch this around. What I want to do is I want to um, set this in watercolor first. Oh, I wanted to bring my lift pad. I forgot it. Um, so that we can lift out some of the uh, watercolor after it's dry. So we haven't done mermaids in a while. So we're going to do the mermaid page today. Just a little heavier than the regular thin stuff. Oh, I have two papers to show you tonight. So I don't know if you had them or not, but um, I'll show them afterwards. I thought I'm going to send you some, so hope maybe you can try them for your jelly plates for Joan's new uh, stencils. Uh, let's see. Oh, are you kidding the cousin? Yes, Julie, it's coming this week. I'm hoping it's going to be here by Wednesday. It's already um, cleared. Did it clear customs? No, it landed, so it hasn't cleared customs yet. So I'm hoping it clears Monday, and then I'll get that. Wednesday or Thursday. So hopefully we can play with that um, next week. I'm excited about that. <laughs> Although I do love her new, this new uh, tattoo because it's permanent. I'll have to show you what I did with it really quick. I have the um, focus on just for a little bit. Till once I get the uh, show and tell out of the way, I'll turn the focus off. All right. So just make sure I have this down nice and tight. I probably should put another little piece here. You too. Yours is coming. Yours is in Chicago and customs. Oh, you get yours before me then. I, uh, I'm actually going to see if I can put the tape on these so that it'll, it'll stay. Did you get the tattoo inks too? I'm loving the pink. I want to put it in a, a spray bottle. Although for me, it's very hard for me to, um, push down because with that jar you have to push down and open so I had to get Jimmy to do it for me so I'll have to try it later all right so let's I need let's spray this down all 
Yeah, I wasn't here last week with my hand. Oh my gosh, my hand was so swollen last week. It's a little better today, but my elbow is still still killing me. Oh, tough getting old. All right, let's see. So this is this one I want to use. Uh, maybe. Maybe we'll use both. I'm going to use that and, oh, sorry. Uh, now, it's going to be annoying for a few minutes just till I get my background done and then we'll switch. I need, um, let's do this. Do I want to use this one? Because uh, I'm going to use blue. Well, I guess I'll use this one. Oh, I didn't clear my water either, so we'll see how it goes. Yes, the pink is so pretty. I know it is. All right, so what I want to do is put some of this dark blue. Where am I here? Dark blue. I'm going to also use my own Mermaid Lagoon and this one. I might throw a little purple in there too, so let's see. I don't think this is wet enough. There we go. I see B. <laughs> Oh, all right, so I'm going to put down this. What I want to do is, I really want to get it like wet, wet. Get some blue, put a little purple. Now oh, I got my hair in there. Um, do you want some of this blue? I want it kind of really dark because I want to be able to um, use a magic eraser. So let's see if we can get this a little bit darker. And then we'll put this over to dry. There we go. Everybody, hi, Christine. Hi, Devin. Anybody I missed? I'm trying to do this first before I do the show and tell, so <laughs> let's just bear with me. I wanted to do it before I got on, but you know how that is. <laughs> oh, that's my mermaid. Look at you. A little bit more purple. I'm really getting soaking wet, so um, we'll see how it goes. I want it super dark, so I might have to come back and do some more. We'll see. So I'm using Jane's ink. It's called Ink, and I'm using uh, Nerid. I think it's called Nerid, and my own Mermaid Lagoon, so see how it goes. A little bit more purple. And more of this. I really want it a lot darker. I might have to come back and do another coat. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. There you go. Oh, you missed the show and tell. No, you didn't. <laughs> nope. I just wanted to do this really quick so that we have it already ready. I really want it dark. It's not as dark as I want to get. Oh, I'm afraid to put some black in here. Ooh. Might have to put a little touch of black. Let's see how it goes. I think maybe I'll put a little bit more of my blue. And this one has uh, Mermaid Lagoon's got the uh, glitter in it, so. Purple, I think a little bit more purple down in here. All right, we'll see how that goes. All right, so I'll put these away. How is everyone? All right. There, so I'm just going to put this to the side and then hopefully we can get it dried. I might have to dry it a little bit more later. We'll see. Um, oh, hi, Janet. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so what should I sell you first? I think I'll show you these first. Now, I think Dee Dee has um, her coloring book. She does a lot of coloring books. Um, and her name is Linda Ravens Ravenscroft, I think it's called. <laughs> Let me see. I'll put it here so you can see if I can get that. There we go. Is that a good name? Yeah, there it is. She has a lot of coloring books. Look how cute these are. Can you see that? Seahorses. So I'm debating how I can put this on a journal page. I think these would make great tags. Um, but if I wanted to do a whole journal page, I don't know. Let's see. Hi, Dorothy. Uh, can you see this one? I wanted to leave the autofocus on because, oh, there we go. Let's see. Aren't they cute? Oh, thanks, Janet. Oh, my God. When you're talking about cats, cats do not like me either. <laughs> And of course, they're the first ones, if I'm in the room, they want to come to me. I love this one with the lips. If you know my Christmas tree ornament, um, when I put my C one, my C theme out, come on, focus. There we go. It's got big lips. All the fish have big lips. Oh, I love this one. Aren't these cute? Yeah, they would make adorable cards. Like this one is called, each one has a different one. The Emerald Unicorn Fish. And then I love this one, of course. <laughs> this one here. See that one there. Aren't they cute? <laughs> Where's Brenda? I know Brenda would love these. <laughs> this one is called uh, an elephant pear. This doesn't remind me of an elephant. Maybe these do. I thought more of a giraffe. It looked more like her tail was a giraffe. But you some have you have some of her artwork, yeah? Oh, the, and CDs? Oh, I didn't know she made CDs. I know um, she did coloring books. So that's, um, and I'm trying to think, uh, this is from the Card hot, Hut. But I got these off of um, Blue Moon. If you want, if you're interested in trying to find these, they're from the um, bluemoon.com, I believe. All right, so that's the first one. I'll show you. And then, should we do Art by Marlene? So this is what we're going to play with today. Let's see those. Yes, because they can only be only <laughs> one bossy queen. I guess that's true, Janet. <laughs> one bossy queen, that's it. Um, where is it? And Art Brownling, she came out with, uh, this is called her Bold and Bright Collection. They also came out. Oh, here's another one. I missed one. I missed this one. Here's another fishy one. This one is called Bubbles. Bubbles. <laughs> Come on, focus, will you? There we go. Aren't they cute? Oh, I love those. So I'll have to play with those. Um... All right. So I did die cut some of them so we could play with today. So she always comes out with a couple of die cuts, some stamps. Uh, where's the other the die cut one here? Here's three. Oh, yeah. They're cute, right, John? So I did her butterfly. Um, I love this butterfly. But we're going to turn them into, of course, mermaid tails. So that's that. It's very intricate. So they look like this in the back. I love this one for like seaweed, maybe. I might turn that one into seaweed. So that's the flowers. And I got these from Joggles, if you guys are interested. And this one's called Graphic. This one's a cool one. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> My hands are shaky. And then the other one is called Layered. These are uh, bun uh, banners. So you can see that. Artists, dream big, make today amazing. Love, love. Mm -hmm. Those are cute, aren't they? I really love her butterflies. And I love this saying, too, here. <laughs> you probably can't read it there. But this is her butterflies. Old butterflies, I called. And they're big, too. You can see this one's almost as big as my my hand, that one. 
And she's got one of her little girls. And of course her flowers. She loves those rolly flowers type. So that's this one called Frida. This is a Frida girl. <laughs> and then I love this one with the words. So this one is text play. You can see the words there. Let me get it to hold still. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, but they're cute. Be, let it be, turn pain into power. That's the one I need. <laughs> Um, I will catch you if you fall. Together we stand strong. She has a lot of cute ones. Share kindness. She did it anyway. Shake the world in a gentle way. And you matter. Be the change. And then these are her stencils, which we're going to play with today. This one is called Pac-Man. This one is Mystical Fire. Like this would be good for hair, I think. I love this one too. Daisies. Nasty one. Yeah. I have this one. Another of her flowers. If you saw um, Vicky, and I can't say her last name, she just unboxed um, her collection and did a whole bunch. This is what we're going to use today. This one, the splash one. It says Wild at Heart, but I'm going to use it for water. So we're definitely going to use that. I might use this one. This one's bold and bright. So that's those. I'm going to keep this one out because we're going to use that. And then the, she has three stamps that she came out with. This one is Butterflies. Embrace Change. She's cute. Booten? No, not Vicky Booten. I'm talking about Vicky Papillon. No, I want to say it's Papillon, but it's not. With the P. Pacadacus. I don't know what it is. But she just did, um, I think she did like three layouts. Three journal pages. Have to, yeah, Vicky Booten. I could do her, but the other girl, I can't do her. Her name is too long. There's that, and then there's this one. This one we'll use probably for some seaweed. Yes, <laughs> yep, her. I can never say her name. <laughs> All right, so that is a new collection from Art by Marlene, which we're going to use some of that today. And then I have to show you. Love the daisy ones? Yeah, they're cute. All right, so that's Art by Marlene. Let me put that over here. Um, and then I did get, I um, have to show you all you guys who've been in the um, Kimped, Kilt, Kimped. I can never say this one either. I wound up getting this book from um, uh, Thrift Books. And it's like a coloring book. This one will be good for... Um, Using different taxes, using different jelly plates. Let's see, it gives you the face and then it gives you the blank. So you can make your own designs in it. I thought this was really cool. Thanks, Devin. Yeah, I think her stuff is really nice. I have a lot of it, but I should use it more. <laughs> That's the house. Oh, you can't see both sides. There's that one. And this one. I'll turn the autofocus off in a minute. Then there's this one. It's a cool coloring book. I've never even uh, seen it before. This one you can make your own little city. Um, and the apple, this one they gave you the piece, and then they give you the outline so you could do your own. Yeah, it is a cute little book, isn't it? Like I love this one with the dresses. So here's this one. It gives you the blank. So you can do your own. And then this one. So it shows you this fate and then gives you a different dress. And of course you can trace it and then do other dresses. I can really, here it's a cool one. Here's a whole bunch more dresses. Isn't really cool? <laughs> when I first ordered it, it didn't, that's the only problem when you order through the thrift store. They don't really show you the different pages. So, um. You don't know what you're getting. So I thought it was going to be like a regular coloring book, you know, with all the designs already laid out for you. But this is nice because you can do your own. Like this one here. Oh, these. These are cute, aren't they? 
with that one, this one. And then this one, here's a blank page for you to create fancy hats. Oh, you're supposed to put a hat on this one and do some fancy hats. <laughs> this one with the horse. Where's the knight riding to? Oh, I guess you're supposed to put like a little forest, whatever. Um, there's another knight. Oh my gosh, I've been watching. Uh, well, I watched the Medici on uh, Netflix. That was really good. And then now I'm watching The Last Kingdom. And it's all about the knights and stuff. I really get into that stuff. So, hi, Barbara. Um, and then, and then they give you some samples too, so which is nice. So if you wanted to see that, I thought this would be a great one for Lena. Lena is so good. Her, her um, little project that she did with her kilt, 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 whatever it is, <laughs> is so good. She's so good. Right, and then the last thing um, I'm going to show you is, this is Jane's new tattoo inks. So this one is called Neon Pink, and that's this one. It has a little skeleton. Isn't this cute? A little skeleton head. <laughs> and then there, she has one that's called Shadow, Shadow Pigment, which is like this purplish brown color. And then she has a regular carbon black. So what's nice about these is that they're all permanent. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, CB. <laughs> so I'll show you what I did with um, the pink one. I actually put the pink one into um, uh, one of Jane's uh, brush pens and one of her fountain pens. So I was playing with that the other day. And... I'm trying to do three-quarter faces, so I've been, uh, Chrissy gave a lesson on three-quarter faces, so I've been trying to do that. So this is the, um, the pink, and I've been just kind of like pretending that like her whole head is just full of roses. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to do a whole series of just the girls with like flowers just throughout their hair. <laughs> See how pretty that pink is? It's much brighter too than it actually is coming up on screen. But the nice thing is that it's permanent, which is really nice. It doesn't move at all. So I went up doing that. Let's see what else. I think I did another one. Um, oh, yeah, I did this one. I'm not too happy about this one. <laughs> I'm not even this one. That's another three-quarter face. And then the only other thing, I really didn't do much because of my hand really hurting, was... Um, was in my book. This one. I actually, this is one I still didn't finish. We started that one and then I, I never finished it. I still want to put some more stuff on her skin. But, and then I wound up doing this for um, <laughs> Valentine's Day. Jimmy had given me a um, box of chocolates. And so I wind up putting my um, flowers. This is one that G Gigi had give, gifted me. Um, yeah, isn't that cute? So I did that. And then when I lift up, this is one of those um, ones I did from Jane's class where we um, put watercolor on a stencil. You can see that there. I can lift it up. See that there? It's cute. It's got some shiny stuff. You can't really see it. And then I love these little mirrors. Do you see those little mirrors? on there there i got those at hobby lobby so cute oh with the little dog there um yeah that was about all i did all right so let me take the autofocus off and then we'll do our uh we'll start <laughs> cute <laughs> Kimberly. so so colleen has been showing um patty patty there still these papers, I'm going to send you a couple. This one is called, and I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> oh, I meant to put the label on here and I can't. She says it's really good for jelly printing. Anyway, I'm going to send it to you. When I do, I'll send you the name of it. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. And then this other one is called um, mineral paper. You heard of that? The multimedia that's good from, it's made from rocks, not trees. Uh, it's water uh, for water-based or dry media bright white, like a vellum surface. 
so I don't know if you have, but I'll send you a couple and you could try it with uh, Joan's going to be having her new uh, sale for her stencils. Uh, I think one of the third, third to the sixth from I stencil. So be sure to check that out. Is it the softer paper or something like that? I think it, I think it is. I thought it started with a W. I can't be, it's the one that Colleen got where it's like 500 sheets. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> It's like 500 sheets, whatever one that one was. So I'll, I'll send that to Patty. All right, so, all right, let me turn the autofocus off. Let me get the other thing back. Oh, hold on. I'll use my paper now. Oh, Kathy, you'll have to go and look at, um, at the beginning, I showed some new uh, mermaid um, stamps. Still kind of wet yeah i'll send them then let me see once you do it I'll, i haven't tried it yet but um we'll see what it's like oh, hold on i gotta move my chair oh. it's a soft like drawing paper is that what it is cb the one that she bought was like 500 sheets <laughs> So we have that. I'm going to use this. I showed the new art by Marlene things. I just want to get the stencil out. Might be, uh, might be dark enough. We'll see. Yes, it comes in two ways. Oh, it does. Okay, so then that's what it is. <laughs> So I think I need to just dry it just a little bit. It's still kind of like damp. So he gone. It's weird how that string made that go in there. He gone. I haven't done mermaids in a long time. So hopefully this week and probably next week I will. I couldn't find my journal that I have most of my mermaids made on. So hopefully I can find it next week. If you can see the glitter this is from um the watercolor that i have the mermaid lagoon oh yeah there yeah, you can see it see all the glitter the sparkle what's nice about that is you can make it super dark or light all right so let me turn off the um autofocus now hold on and you guys can hear me okay today I had a problem with that a couple weeks ago, but hopefully, yes, you see the yummy sparkle. Yeah, that's the um, Mermaid Lagoon one that I have, the blue one. That's this one. Um, that one has like four different glitters, I think. So that's this one here, that's that one. Oh, hold on. Why is my camera not coming up? Hold on. <laughs> Hopefully it'll come up in a second. I don't know why that is. Uh, there we go. Oh, it's not letting me turn it off. 
Ah, uh, well, that's a bummer. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Loud and clear. Oh, good. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. And I want to put the mermaid so she's kind of floating like that. So let's do it this side. And hopefully this works. I'm going to cut this too. Scissors. This is one of those magic erasers. What I'm going to do is just damp this and spraying it off camera. I don't want it really wet, but I want to be able to take this off. Now, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry if that noise is going to bother you. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Let me know if you want to. Maybe it's not wet enough that's making that noise. <laughs> you want me to turn the uh, sound off? I will. Or just turn your sound off for the next few minutes. <laughs> Why is that making so much noise? I'd ever doing that before. It's weird. All right, let's see what how that is. Oh, that's good. So we're just getting we're just getting a little bit of a splash. It's just what we want. So I don't know why that's making a noise. I think I've done this before and never did that. <laughs> Hanging in there. That's it. That's all we can do. <laughs> Hanging in there. All right. Now this one I think I'm going to flip the other way. Some of the glitter off, but that's okay. She'll come through here, and then uh, maybe we'll just put a little bit down in here. Oh, thanks, Joan. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to use my lift pad, too. Did anybody ever use their lift, um, Tim's lift pad uh, with watercolor? I know I've done it with um, their distress. distress. What did you think of his new color, the saltwater taffy? more bubbles here. You like his new distress color, CB?
There we go. Okay, we'll just put some down, down here. There we go. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Now let me just clean my hands. I did too. Oh, you did, Patty? You like the pink? <laughs> it's like a salmon pink. I had to crack up when everybody said a lot of people didn't know what saltwater taffy is. Oh my gosh, we have that like in the summertime. That's all they sell down the boardwalk and stuff. Saltwater taffy. <laughs> Thanks, Evan. Yeah, you can see it. Um, and it still has a lot of the, uh, still has a lot of the glitter, which is nice. Cool. Oh, that's a great one for, um, for mermaids. <laughs> yes, you never like taffy. You don't like taffy? Oh my gosh, I love taffy. My favorite's vanilla. Vanilla and strawberry. <laughs> All right, so I cut out some stuff. Let's see what we have. What did I do for that? Hold on. There it is. So I might use my little girl. Bubbles. Mm. You love root beer taffy? <laughs> I don't like, oh, I like Stewart's root beer. Um, let's see. Go ahead and make a bag here. Oh, sorry for the noise. No, I'm in a bag. I guess I'm not. We'll see. Let's see what we'll do with that. We'll see. There we go. So I, want, I cut out the um, butterfly wings. Love banana. <laughs> Let's see. Some of these I didn't get to put all the um, things out. Um, there we go. Um, So what I'm gonna do is put the um, the tail. I'm thinking about cutting this too. Where's my scissors? My little scissors. So I'm gonna cut this in half. So I love the fancy little part of this tail. So we thought we would use that as part of the tail. I'm thinking about putting maybe this on top. Maybe it'll go on the side of her. We'll see. <laughs> and I love this one. I cut this one out of um, the glitter paper so that we could maybe do a, a little... I want to see if I cut her face out, if she's going to be too big. I'm thinking too now, now that I don't have the shop anymore, so no paint paper studio. And my name, Scraps of Beauty, just doesn't really work now because when I first started doing YouTube, I was into scrapbooking, and so I did take a lot of scraps and then put them together and did something. Oh, well, great if I use to use with your mermaids. Yes. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe if I should change my name. Now, this just has to be looking at. She's going to have to look at something. But I want this for the tail part. And 
and I thought this we could do. We can maybe make her. I'm trying to think. Go from here like this. So if I cut this out, we need paper. <laughs> oh, and then I have some of this too. I have some rice paper that we might add some to. We might add some of this to that. Ciao, Bella. Um, so I have some of this. I'm wondering if I did this. Let's see. I don't know if I like that. Um, I really need, I need a piece of paper. <laughs> White paper. Maybe I'll try this. I'll try that paper. So if we did this, I need a pencil. <laughs> really? <laughs> so no changing? All right, so let's see if we did. I want her to have quite a big, not a big bottom, but. <laughs> So we did that, and then we did something. I wonder if her head would be too big. Um, let's just cut that out first. Really? <laughs> okay. All right, then I'll just keep it the way it is. Would be a pain too to have to change everything and then show everybody. Um, I'm trying to think. And then if we just did our arms out this way some way. This one. Just kind of <laughs> guessing. We'll have to do our arms separate. There we go. All right, I'll keep it the same. <laughs> All right, so if we did this, so I think I think your head would be okay with that. But what I want to do now is I want to put this on here somehow. What color should we do this? The background. Could do a, like a lime green maybe or I really would like to do this pink. <laughs> right, so let's, I need an eraser. Do I have an eraser? Or I could just do, and yeah, we'll do whole, her whole, her whole part, her whole body. What I want to do is, maybe I have some hot pink. Do the hot pink. Okay, that's what I was thinking too. I want an eraser now to erase all this. No eraser. Here we go. So I want the pink to show through the um the gold.
So let me cut out her. Let me cut out her neck. Really don't want any of that white showing. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Kimberly. <laughs> What I want to do too is make a book. I'm trying to decide. I'm going to make a little bit bigger size. And then I want to do it out of material. And then make it a, like a soft cover and just put all mermaids in this book. Put her like that, kind of. <laughs> Cut up her earrings and make gold ones for the glitter paper. All right. We can do that. Make some gold. There we go. All right. So I'm going to take her, take her off of this body here. We'll have to put this under, see, under the string, I think. So we'll go like that. Be like that. And then, let's see, uh, pink. I really would like to use, um, I don't know how well that would go. I'm looking for my hot pink. Do I have hot pink in this? I mean, I want like neon pink, pink. Oh yeah. I need my neon pink in here, my layer cakes. Oh, there was a book. All right, so let's see. I'll put this on here. And maybe I will you know, put it on with this. Yeah, that's nice and nice and bright. So we're going to use the new ink. I am going to use the new ink for her hair. Since this is such a big body, I don't want to use uh, all the ink. <laughs> A hook at the bottom that um, string that have her holding on a top string. There we go. What we could do is wait till this dries. Ooh, that looks good on there. I wish it was as bright. Of course, it doesn't show as bright as um, I have to change her roses to the pink. And what I want to do is 
put this on there somehow. Oh, a little hook on here at the bottom. Just doing in here, hand holding. Oh, that's a cute idea. I have a little hook too. I'll have to uh, have to look for it. Um, so what I want to do is get some glue. Mm -hmm. See if I can use this. We pulled the wrong end. Is it that end? Oh, <laughs> this is end. Uh, previous night you were <laughs> or an anchor yeah i have one i have um like a little charm or I even have um i might have a stamp all right so let's see See how well this will go. Oh, look at that pull peeled right up for that. Then I'm going to cut this off. Hopefully we can at least get her done. And then she needs to have some, maybe I'll do some of those um, fish from the new stamps that I have. Let's we'll see. Do that there. Oh, that looks cute. Let's put this underneath here. Oops. And then we're going to glue these. We'll have to pull this out a little more. So anybody working on anything else? Um, Devin's working on her mermaid, she said. I have to do my um, little elf. Kathy Arbor did a for her um, subscribers, a little elf. It was so cute. I love the, the way um, you did the leaves and stuff. That was so cool. They look so real. I'm just puncturing out a few of these little holes. Thanks. 
I have your thing. So you know what your your die cuts would look good on this page. I'll have to pull them out. I think I have them near me. If I put the little seahorse, like she's looking at the seahorse, that would be cute. All right. How do I want this this way? Oh, I need a little bit more. Mm, I need some stronger glue. I'm wondering if I should put these on top. Or maybe off maybe off her side. <clears throat> Let's see. Maybe off of her side, one on, I think one on that, and one down here, like little gills. <laughs> Let me see if I can find real quick the, um, oh my gosh, the time goes so quick, doesn't it? 25 turns. If I can find Devin's little die cuts, if I think I put them in this. I hope I put them in here. <laughs> Ah, uh, I wonder where I put them. I thought I put them in here. Let's see, hold on. Maybe I put them. Maybe I stuck them in here. I'll have to find them because they'll go perfect with this page because they're blue and purple. I pulled them out just so I would say, I'm going to put them with my whatever. And of course, I don't have them. But yeah, they have to be here. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> oh, the fish would look cute in here. Well, all of these things too. These little... I put this in here and that. Aren't they cute? They go perfect with this page. I put that in that. And I love these little fish. I thought I had another one though. Wasn't it just was it just the one? Uh, let's see. Of this horse kind of like this one the dark purple and pink yeah i've been saving them i finally put them with my other sea things oh i literally like this fish i really like to use this fish maybe this seahorse will come up from here all right so we have to fix her body still I might put this fish on the, I don't know, we'll see. I don't like it. I wish it was facing, so isn't that always the way you wish it was facing a different way? <laughs> mm, I don't recall me. That's okay. We can all make do. I thought, let me see, maybe it slipped in, slipped away from the. Oh yeah, see, here's another one, look. <laughs> Stuck to the page. And that's a nice dark one. Although I like the hot pink because the pink is on there, so we'll see. <laughs> I'm just looking through to see maybe if one slipped out. All right, so now we have to come up with her body. And her arms. 
I might even make her have long hair. What do you think? So I think I am going to use those as gills. They look cute as like little gills. Um, see what the purple one looks like here. I like it because the bubbles here too are right by the seahorse. Very cute. I might have to move this tail up more. Back more. Let's see how that goes. More glue. Are you over being sick now, Devin? You finally got to be home. That must have been terrible. There we go. I have some other things, too, that from the um, pieces I've cut out that I can always just, since maybe these are too big. I have those little uh, things from her bag. These are all the little things left from between the um, the butterfly wings. I really want the, the other big one like that. If I can find it. Of course, I know I have two of them in here as so I put them in here. <laughs> And I have all these little gold bubbles I can put on here, too, as well. But where's the other big one? Oh, I just hate that. Maybe I put it in the other bag. Let's see. Yeah, in the other bag. <laughs> You've been good for a while. Oh, that's good. I think that would look cute, more like a, a skirt. More like a skirt. All right, I'm going to glue this down. And then we'll glue these down. Have to move that up from the fold. Like the skirt. <laughs> it's cute. I didn't want to throw all those pieces away. They're so um, nice just for whatever odds and ends. And I think for her, we'll probably add some glitter, like stickles in between here to get her fins to look really sparkly, <laughs> of course. Um, what to do with her body now and her arms? What's that? I might just have to cut this. And if we put her head here, and I'll have to come up with some type of arms. I can get rid of that. <laughs> off with her head. <laughs> off with her head. To, maybe I'll even cut out her face and actually give her pink hair. Let's see. I 
And then I can use my brush. Do I want this one? I have to get for a... I might have to refill this up. I didn't really put too much ink in there. Let me see if the brush is any better. So yeah, see, so I have to refill it. I don't have that much, that much ink in there. I didn't put too, a lot in there. Well, there it comes. Let's see. No, I don't. I think I need more ink. Let's try the brush. I wish it would show up um, how dark it is. Let me see if I bring it closer. It's much darker than it's just showing it's so light on the screen. You see, it's a little, it's much darker than that. <laughs> All right. Now we need our head. I'm thinking maybe that we should take the, the hair off and actually give her some long streaky hair let's see I think I'm going to still keep the roses, but we'll just change the roses to a different color. Let's see. What do I like? How do you like the brush? I like it. It's, um, I mean, it's basically like a water brush, but it just feels, um, no, it's just different. Okay, so the nice thing about this is that it's on sticker paper. <laughs> I wish I could get her. Maybe I need to put her, let's cut the whole face out. She's not tilted her head up so high. She has her new journals coming. Um, with their like uh, Tomoe paired paper, um, which I've never um, I've never used Tomoe paper, so uh, that'll be fun to play with. Oh, I like that. All right, so we have that there. So I'm going to come in with, I think, let's do this. Is this one? You have to get one. You can't find one that flows constantly. Didn't you have, I, I had one that was clear. It was like a, and I, you can um, see the water in the barrel. I forget who did that one. Of course I have one and I can't find it. So <laughs> who knows where that one is. And this one's nice too. It's got the neon pink in it. Uh, let me see. I need. Let me go with them. I wish I had some clean water. This is really dirty water. Um. I think I need to probably cut that off. Let me see. Because her arm should go. I gotta turn this around. <laughs> I 
I'll have to glue these down still. Yeah, let me know if you want to try it. The next time I put my order in, I can um, get one for you, Patty. All right. I think I like these. I think we'll put these down because I think I like the way those are. I don't have regular glue like my... Where's the glue? Where is it? My nano glue, which I don't see here. I'm going to have to use this. <laughs> Can you see? Yeah, you can still see. Yeah, she's got some new, um, New journals, too, coming out later on. I'm waiting for her paint. That should be coming out pretty soon, the next week or two. It's um, She calls it like a gesso-type um, paint. It'll be interesting to see. And I think that we're going to be able to get, like, scrapbook.com or Michael's. Um, she did a collaboration with, um, with the store so that it'll be available here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> All right. Um, all right, let's see. So we how how should we have her here? Oh, this one I forgot. This one's a where's my brush one? She put her hair. Floating up, maybe. I hope they got a couple more of these of hers. See how nice it just flows right out that ink. When I take the tape off, I might have her hair go all the way out. We'll see. And I didn't put much ink in here either. So. Ah. Oh, that's cute. Like I said, the nice thing about this is the permanent. So. I can come back over here with some watercolor. Maybe we'll do some big hoopy earrings. Your hair explodes, but sometimes too. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I like that. I definitely I'm definitely gonna change these flowers, but I don't know to what. Maybe we'll put seashells or something like that in there. We still have to color her skin. Look how cute that is. I like it. <laughs> Might 
have to open up the shadow one. Although I don't know if I can. And put some shadow in there. This one, the um, this one's called Shadow Pigment. This one's called Tattoo Pink. <laughs> the other one's Tattoo Pink. But it looks so dark and black, but it's not. Let's see if I can open it. Let's see. <laughs> I want to go put a shadow behind her. I gotta get that to glue down. I'm looking for my other glue, which I can't find. Um, my more liquid glue. Like, where is that? <laughs> I've been switching my stuff around and trying to get it more organized. So. <laughs> uh, of course, it's not here anywhere. I like her so far. All right. So the hard part now is the hands. A little drawing the hands. See if I have a cream color. Cream color pencil. Should we have her? Oh, that's too dark. more darn it. I don't know if I can erase that. Yeah, a little bit. Probably too light for you guys to see. But my left hand there or something to try to think of. There. Alright. So when I put it in with the paint, you'll be able to see. Put a little tattoo or something on her arm. It's a nice thing about these layer um, cake paints. They layer over so nice. I'm just going to put this one right. Oh, doesn't she look cute? <laughs> All right, of course, we're, gonna, we're never finished. <laughs> it always takes so much longer than you think. And even I didn't have to draw her face or in the background was pretty quick. Oh, let's get some more glue on here. I'll have to find some type of saying or something. They're kind of small. What's small? <laughs> she needs bigger. <laughs> CB. <laughs> Let's do it with her. Um... I don't know if I can do it. Let's see if I can get these going. Is that better? <laughs> I might put a little bit of pink on her cheeks here. This is a label, so 
should be able to. I might have to use a crayon. It's not going to stick on there. A little belly button. <laughs> the perfect example of that. <laughs> oh, let's see. What else? I need paper. Oh, we didn't put any of these. wonder if we'll put some of this tissue down. Um, I'm looking for a napkin or something. Better? <laughs> I like her face. She came out so cute, didn't she? I like it. I'll have to come in here with some colored pencils and put some other stuff in there. Oh, she looks cute. I like her. Okay. Um, this should come right through. I wonder if we should... I like the little shipwreck here. If we could... Maybe get that and maybe put that somewhere. Let's see. Love the gold over the pink. Yeah, me too. And I wish if you could see it as bright, but you can't, it just can't. That neon just doesn't. Maybe I should come. Let's see. Let's see if we can do the whole thing. I missed your stream too yesterday, Barb. Not yesterday, Friday. Oh, there we go. Should we put that on there? I think that would look cute, wouldn't it? I think we will. Uh, I need my waste paper glue. Hold on. Oh, I can open it. I did. Sometimes I can't open it. Um, I don't really want to use that brush. Uh, I don't keep any. Let's do this one. I like this because it's the clearest um, for rice paper. It really works well. Let's see. Put a little bit here. It's like a matte finish, too, which is nice. Oh, it looks cute, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, we had a third wake. But this week we're back on the seventh. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. So she's cute. I'll have to go back over her arms. Let's see what we're doing now. I'll put some more um, stuff in her hair. Oh, it's cute so far. And then I'll put some type of title, I think. But we got pretty far. I'm going to put some, um, do I have it with me here? Put some glitter. I don't know if I have any. 
I didn't get to show you the tattoo ink, but we're going to play again tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, next week <laughs> when I get her um, goddess inks. Um, I think I want, I want like a light blue or gray. I'll have to come back and do that. So thanks. I'll give you guys a close up. I'll do the reveal because everybody loves the reveal. I don't think I'll do anything more um, for the, what do you call it? To take the tape off. Hopefully, hopefully, we didn't get too much on there. Oh, thanks, Devin. <laughs> I love my old face. That's my favorite favorite girl that I've ever drawn to date. She's still my favorite. Whoops. Can you see? save this for next time she's quite fetching <laughs> thanks dar <laughs> they came out this company too the purple cow came out with a, a pink tape I, I don't know if that's more um if it's less attack uh, than this one but this one works pretty well there we go Oh, thank you, Matt Cube. So it's a Devin and myself collaboration. <laughs> Look how cute. There he is. So I'll have to come back and do it. There we go. Oh, thanks, Linda. <laughs> and uh, I'll probably have to put, I'm probably going to put some glitter on those, uh, of course, glitter on that. And then this side, you could see the little um, shipwreck. So. I love the background. The background came out really cute with the um, from Art by Marlene. And I love the butterfly wings for tails. I'm going to have to put something behind here, though, so that we can, I don't know, maybe something more pink like this. We'll see. Oh, thanks, Barb. <laughs> so, yeah. So next week we'll play with the inks and the new journal of Jane's uh, the, with the Tomoe River um, paper. And her inks are supposed to, like, split into different colors. So, uh he did most of the collaboration. <laughs> uh, I'll have to send you some die cuts now. And then we'll, you can do the uh, collaboration. <laughs> uh, thanks, June. I was always for staying up so late. <laughs> thanks, everyone. So thanks, Janet. <laughs> All right. So then I will see you next week. And uh, we'll play with some new stuff. So thanks for coming, everyone. <laughs> I'll put this in, like do it. There we go. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Have a good week. Thanks, Dorothy. Good night.